You know, I think the secret to a Tony Luce cheesesteak is that we cook it on a very low temperature. What I like to do is slowly cook the ribeye to get all the juices out of it. If you cook it on too high of a temperature, you kind of put a crust on it. Now for a thick steak, that's good. But for a thinly sliced ribeye, you want it low and slow is much better. You'll extract all that flavor from it. I'd rather have you wait five minutes for a steak, but get it right and get it really juicy then get it in a minute and then it's it's overcooked and it's kind of dry. I definitely don't want it dry. My thing is to make sure that when you bite this steak that that juice just pours all out the bottom of that roll. So now as you can see this is almost done. With these steaks once the red is out the steak is finished and the quicker you get it off the better that steak will be. That I don't even salt this steak until it's done. So this steak is literally, I'd say, a minute away from being finished. As you can see, it's a beautiful color. And now we're going to salt it. And the reason we don't salt it is that salt will extract moisture from meat. When you have a thick piece of steak, you salt it because you want that crust. But with this, it's deadly. It will take all the juice out of the steak, and you wind up with a very dry piece of steak. All right, so now you also notice that I've incorporated the onions and the hot peppers right into this. Because what I want to do, I'm going to get the cheese next, what I want to do is incorporate all of those flavors. I don't want you to bite a sandwich and then taste the steak and then onions and then hot peppers. I want to make one, one flavor out of this steak. Now you're going to also notice that I do this as well, which I flip it right on the cheese. Now what this does also is it takes all of those flavors and completely incorporates it inside that cheese. So when you take that bite, you're getting hit with every flavor at one time. Now if you notice, all that cheese is kind of bubbled in between all of that meat. So now we're going to take it off and we lay it on. You see that? Look at that. That is what a steak is supposed to look like. I mean. You can tell just by looking at it that all of those flavors are all incorporated together. You know, and you get the juice from that. You don't want, you don't want oil, you want juice. So that is juice coming out, not oil. And that is a cheesesteak.